I'm James Sabalski. While heading into game number four, these two teams are certainly very familiar with one another. Centers are lined up. Official ready to drop the puck. A critical game for both sides here, and we are underway. Oh, just a great heads-up play by Martin. Takes it into the offensive zone. Quick feed to Riley. And he makes a save there. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Matthews is notorious for his shock and awe zone ability, which is his skill seeking to get into a scoring position and then put it away with a quick shot. Helix rock solid between the pipes. He can bail out his team and give them a chance to win on a nightly basis. Look to one of these players to be a difference maker in this one. Back up to the booth. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Knocked away. Here's a short pass to Lilgren. Tries to get the puck to Matthews. And that's knocked away by Morrissey. The Jets cross the line and gain the zone. Pushes it across to Domi. Tries to get it over to Tavares. Slides it across. Oh, oh no! Oh, uh, and this is a great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. What a hit against the wall there! In order to dictate the tempo of the game right at the onset of it, you want to make your opponent think and hear you coming, and that's what he does with that first hit. They are really starting to apply the pressure here in the offensive end. There's a textbook play. these goals because they're not flashy but they are hard work you got to fight for position and not necessarily for your body but you got to have a handle on your stick get it available with right timing to be able to tap the puck down Toronto's drawn first blood here in this one by getting on the board first uh, and that's exactly what you want to do you want to play with the lead not behind it James and now it's what they do next they've created some energy for themselves now it's about continuing to attack and find the back of the net again Camp stick handling in his own zone. Winnipeg's gained possession along the boards. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. Makes a move and the puck hops away from him. Well, he's got such a slick set of hands. He's trying to manipulate his opponent one by one, but he tries one too many, James, and he loses the puck. Puck sent over to Yarko. The Jets have it now. Tosses it on to Perfetti. Slits it out in front. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Off his stick. And that's blocked from someone in front. Klingberg's gaining momentum. Fires it into the offensive zone. And he loses control of the puck. Moves it to Perfetti. He carries the puck up along the wing. Tried to get 2-2 with it and loses possession. Slides it diagonally to Krieger. Toronto's got the puck along the wall. Thunderous collision on the play, and look at the bench set up. Here they come on the attack down the right side. With the stop. Puck scooped up by Perfetti. Rips it. Oh, there's one more. The Leafs get a hold of the puck along the boards. Krieger's taking it from his own end. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. Toss up the puck after that hit. Winnipeg's got a hold of it along the wall. Moves it quickly over to Lowry. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Receives the pass. Oh, it stays out. He got a piece of that one. The Leafs have had way more chances offensively, and as a result, they're leading in this one. The Jets win the draw. Quick pass to Morrissey. Scoops up the puck now. Takes the pass. 
Ehlers takes the puck. Winnipeg's got him along the wall. Tremendous read as he pokes it away with the paddle. Here we go, odd man rush here. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. Oh, I know what he was trying to do there, James. He thought he had it with that move, but he created some space for himself, but unfortunately loses the handle and it dies on his stick. Matthews works the puck in his own zone. Quick feed to Brody. With possession along the wall. Moves the pass in front, and that's stopped. And another stop. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. More than half the period has expired. The Leafs have taken a 1-0 lead. Tavares has won the draw. They'll go to work offensively. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Centers gliding up to the face-off dots here. Good job tangling up his opponent here. Takes a shot. Oh, and there's a great save by Hillebuck. Toronto's got the puck along the boards. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Across the line from center. For point blank. Scores! All right, two words for you. New game. Yeah, it certainly is, James. And who's going to come out on top by the beginning of this face-off? You want to be able to get that puck in the offensive zone and find a way to continue to attack. period. It's all tied up. Perfetti's won the draw at center. Toronto's got possession of the puck. Here's a short pass to Lundgren. He says, let's get physical in that play. Scores! The go-ahead goal puts them in front. And now they're in front, James, so they'll have some energy. You know that their first two strikes be more urgent, but they'll have to be accountable on the other side of the puck as well. Sometimes when you're in your own zone, you can get caught wandering or roaming, James. What I mean by that, your eyes start to focus on the puck and you start to slide outside the middle of the ice. When that happens, guess what? You open up the primetime scoring area, and that's what happens here. Toronto's got up by one here in this opening frame, but there's a lot of game to go here. Yeah, and I always feel like those next few shifts are critical because you know your opponent, they're either going to respond or they're not. If they don't respond and you're on your toes, you push them back and you look for a second. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. Pushes it across to Pionk. And he slides it quickly to Perfetti. He got all of that one and pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Couldn't catch up to that pass. Moves it to Morrissey. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Here they come through center and into the offensive end. And that's a great hits up play by Pionk. Toronto's got a hold of the puck now. The Leafs looking against the half wall. Here's a chance. Oh, what a save by Hillebuck. Love the way the goaltender gets tight to the shooter here. The puck's in the low slot. You want to take away time, you want to take space. Goaltender does it, makes the save. Feeds the puck to Krager. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. Moves the puck along the half wall. Slick feed. To the front. Reaches out and pokes it away. Fires it on net. Big save right at the end. All right, there's the end of period number one. We'll take a breather. I'll recharge. The players will too. And we're coming back with period number two right after this. Clean sheet of ice, period two is set to go. 
The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Well, Cheryl, how do you sum this one up for the first 20 minutes? Halifax has been so dialed in right from puck drop, and really the only player that has been, he has been under siege. Yes, they're trailing, but they still have an opportunity to get back in this game because of him. Lots of time left in this period. The Leafs are clinging to a 2-1 lead. Matthews wins possession off the draw. Toronto's going on the attack as they gain the zone. Tries to feed it over to Ehlers. Hammers the shot! Great save! Played it perfect! The Jets move the puck in the defensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Connor. Toronto's got the puck along the wall. With some open space at center. The Leafs take possession in the neutral zone. Centering feed! And that goes off a stick and off target. Connor's going to play it against the half wall. want to look at this last save again James because this is about taking it to the next level when you have this level of competitiveness athleticism and desperation and urgency in your game you know that goaltending coach they can't just teach this this is instinctual and this is what winners are made of Toronto's got the lead here early in this second period their offense has been clicking at all cylinders thus far puck grabbed by Klingberg Samsonov's a competitor, and he is not afraid to compete for every single putt and outwill and outbattle his opponent. And that highlight reel save, it is something, James, because just when you think it's almost in, he finds a way to get to that puck. Such an athletic goaltender. Quick pass to Niederreiter. Big play inside the defensive zone. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Oh, making his presence felt with the hit. The Leafs gain possession in their own end. Rocked them! Howard Burns can be so difficult to contain. Why? Because you can hear them coming, James. They have the ability to deliver bone-crushing hits. Slides the puck to Kemp. The Leafs played along the wing. Toronto's got a hold of it against the wall. Turned aside with a glove by Hellebuck. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. We've got a 2-1 game. The Jets take possession off the faceoff. The one-time rocket, and that's blocked in traffic. Gets it to the other point. Puts it towards the net. Winnipeg's got the puck. Dishes it to Nemestikov. Quick feed to Yarncroft. Toronto's got it in their own zone. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Sends the pass over. Here's a short pass to Appleton. Gaining momentum up along the side. And they keep the pressure on. The Jets gain possession. And some good footwork to kick it away. Toronto's moving it along the wing. Moves it to Connor. And that pass attempt is deflected. Moving into the attacking zone. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. Toronto's in transition. Moves it quickly over to Reeves. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Quick pass to Giordano. Here's a chance in front. Couldn't complete the pass. The Jets carry it along the wall. Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. Connor's trying to get a little too fancy with the puck there, and as a result, he loses it. The Leafs take it across the blue line. Into the corner of the attacking area. Big stop right there. Moves him to the middle. Block shot. Hellebuck's been outstanding tonight. I mean, he has been under siege shot after shot. A real workhorse that's been better and better as the game's gone on.
well past the midway mark of this period. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. The Jets win the draw here in the neutral zone. Absolutely rocks him on the play, and that sends a message to the bench. Quick feed to Matthews. Great heads up play with the stick by Gustafson. Slides it over with pace to McCabe. He tips it. Continuing to acknowledge the save he made earlier because they know the temperature of this game. And hey, the fans are now in it. They're all on board, and guess what? The goaltender knows it. Hammers a shot. That was amazing. What a save by Hillebuck. Here they come. Down the left side on the attack. Puck battle along the boards. And it's freed up over to his teammate with a nice kick pass. And he passes up ahead to Tavares. Winnipeg's got the puck against the boards. Big save by the goaltender once again. Puck dumped in, and they'll complete a line change. Winnipeg's got it in their own zone. Lights them up into the boards. Passes the puck over to Perfetti. Taken by DeMello. Now a quick pass to Perfetti. Yarncroft's got it along the wing. Quick shot! A game of inches, and he puts it off the outside of the post. Offensive opportunities, and they don't happen all the time, especially in a tie game, and an opportunity to cash in right there, and it just goes off the pipe and out. Here in the late going of the frame, the next goal could be a big one as we are tied. They win the draw and go on the attack. Quick stop! I really like to save James because he challenges the shooter who's all alone in the slot area. He turns aside a real dangerous opportunity. Centers get set as they're ready to drop the puck again. The Jets come up with the defensive zone draw. Gets it over to Connor. Slides it across to Ehlers. Takes a bump and loses control of the puck. Toronto's looking to break out. Here's a short pass to Brody. Takes a shot. Easily turned aside by Hellebuck. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Matthews wins the face off in the offensive zone. Stopped by Hellebuck. Well, a nice save by the goaltender, and even better is that he redirects the puck to the corner to safety. And a big save just as time runs out. There's the horn. Two periods down, a third period to go. Stick around and join us for the drama next. Quick pass across to Ehlers. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Here we go, pucks in deep. Good stand-up hit on the play. Moves it to Riley. Takes the stretch pass in the open ice. First pass leads to the offense. That's a great one. The Jets gain possession along the wall. The Leafs get a hold of the puck. Oh, what a violent collision there. He just got railroaded and closed me so fast and just taken down. Great burst of speed to come up with it. Takes a bump but still hangs on to the puck. Marner's got it against the boards. Denied by the goaltender. Hellebuck's got the puck and he's going to slow things down. Well, he's slowing things down because his team has been under siege, James. It's the third period. It's a tight game and he elects to get the whistle. I like this decision. 
It's the right one. Now everyone can get a rest and coach can get the right personnel out there. Toronto's won the draw. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Picked up along the wall by Domi. Just gets enough to keep it out. Winnipeg's got it across the line. Moves it quickly over to Morrissey. Oh, big time save by Samsonov. Great hit on the play. Handles the pass. Klingberg's got the puck. Stopped by the goaltender. to be played in this period. We got a tie game. Nice job tying up his opponent. Gaining speed through center, and here they come on the attack. Oh, what a save in front. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. We are all tied up in this one. Off the draw, and a nice job locking up his opponent. They put the puck into the offensive end. Dylan's lugging the puck. Gaining momentum along the boards. Reaches out and uses the stick. McCain's got it on the offensive end. Quick pass to Dylan. Handles the puck. Takes it from the right side. yarncroft has got the puck in his own zone. Dropped him in the open ice. Sends it in deep. The Leafs gain control of the puck. Toronto's got the puck in the defensive end. Gets the puck in deep. Trying to get back on the attack now. And he takes the dish. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. And they'll dump it in. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. Directed over to Perfetti. Quick feed to Nemestikov. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. The Leafs gain control of the puck against the wall. Angles it over to Reeves. for the puck and he loses control. Shifley's got it into offensive territory. Taken along the wall by Chisholm. Slides the puck over. The Leafs scoop it up along the boards. And he had the answer on that one. Goaltender covers up and will get a face off. Standing by with her thoughts on who had the edge tonight, it's our own Carlin Bade. Matthews has worked hard in this game, guys. He hasn't gotten any points, but he's still stuck with it and stayed engaged. So for that, I'm giving him the edge in tonight's matchup. Knocked away in the offensive zone. And he takes the feed. Here's a short pass to Eels. Marner's moving the puck through his own zone. Here they come on the rush. Comes up with the block. Absolutely fearless. Hellebuck's got the puck and he's going to hang on. Past the halfway mark of this period. It's all tied up. Toronto's got it and they're on the attack. Cuts into the paint. Decides to think about it. The Jets have it against the wall. Sorry for jumping in, James, but that was a massive hit. And that doesn't reach the net. Tavares moves the puck. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. And lowers the boom with a big time hit. Well, this is a message sending hit, isn't it? When you get all of your opponent and you're able to separate the body from puck, you know you've done your job. Message delivered. Big draw looming here in the offensive zone. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up. That opportunity is rejected. 
Winnipeg's got the puck behind the net. Oh, and he just got enough of that to keep it out. And the puck's not loose. Winnipeg's gained possession along the boards. And they'll battle for that loose puck along the boards. Takes the puck behind the net. When you're hounding pucks and applying this type of pressure, it usually results in two things, a penalty or a goal. The Leafs have it now. Sends it ahead to Bertuzzi. Rocks it on the play. And they'll go off for a change after dumping it in. Winnipeg's got it against the boards. Shot attempt completely fails on that. Moves the puck over to Yarncroft. Rocks him. Moves it to Niederreiter. Oh, did he drop a thunderous hit there? Power forwards drive lanes and they drive bodies and that one's perfectly executed. The Leafs get a hold of the puck along the boards. Toronto's got possession at center. Big time stop. Halifax a great goaltender who understands where the... Scores! It's in! It's in the back of the net and I think he put it in on his own. Oh, he did, James. I don't think he knew where that puck was. That's a frustrating goal as he puts it himself. Oh, these goals are real deflators for the entire team. James thought he had a piece of it and it just dribbles into the back of the net. He wants that one back. Toronto's gone up by one here in period number three. Uh, you know that they recognize that they've got the lead in the third period, so they have to be defensively responsible, but you can't just sit back and protect. You gotta be aggressive when you get the moment and take advantage of it. The Jets win the draw. Good, solid check, and he loses control of it. And he takes the pass. And he loses control here. Winnipeg's got the puck along the boards. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Takes the feed. A little dipsy doodle and he loses possession of the puck. The Jets really need a goal here. They've pulled the goalie and the extra attackers out. Moves it quickly over to Ehlers. And that slides right out to center ice. Winnipeg's got a hold of the puck. Quick pass to Nemestikov. And that's broken up. That's all she wrote from this one tonight. A 3-1 series lead, and they can close it out with one more win after this performance tonight. Well, yeah, I mean, they played so well all series long, but that last game, I mean, that was a gift. To find a way to have that devastating blow to their opponent, who are now crushed in terms of emotionally. So they have to take advantage of that, and right at the onset of that next game, they got to be hard on the puck, and they got to close it out and finish it off while they're down. Well, the game might be done, but these playoffs are far from over. We've got more playoff intensity just around the corner. For Cheryl Pounder, I'm James Sabalski. Good night, and we'll see you next time.